See you later. Bye. I don't want to sit at a table with everybody. Basketball Wives is notorious for its drama, catfights, and explosive confrontations. From shocking revelations to unexpected twists, you won't believe your eyes as we take you on a roller coaster ride of emotions and reactions. You're crazy. You're crazy. And you're crazier. See my crazy. You're crazy. Too fast, too crazy. I'm watching people watch us. I'm embarrassed. Then I'm like. In this episode, Jackie and Brandy have an explosive confrontation, and other persons present cannot help but notice the duo. I feel like Brandy and her insults is hitting below the belt. Back up. I'm Jackie Marie Christie, Doug Christie's wife. I'm a boss. I spit any boss. bitch up in this mother. You know boss. it. You know You're it. As the scene unfolds, we see both women engaging in a back and forth conversation that's both suspenseful and emotionally charged. I'm a beautiful I feel ass sorry boss. For your husband. I'm a boss. I really feel and I'm beautiful. And I look better than how old are you? 30, 29, 28? You look better than oh, me. Oh, please, don't baby. Look we don't want to do a contest. It's clear that there's a power dynamic at play, with Jackie desperately trying to maintain her status as the alpha in the room while Brandy holds her ground. Then this suddenly happens. Oh, you gonna pick your diamond up? Definitely. Fake. Did I say it was real? Did I say it was? It is, but did I say that? Do you want to go and get it appraised? But you're I'll still... purchase whatever the f you want, but I need you to keep your mother f mouth shut going by. You can't, I sure. don't I'm it. not Megan, and I you're understand not that. And Meanwhile, the tension in the room builds as the diamond on Jackie's ring falls to the ground. With all eyes on the precious stone, we can sense the heightened emotions of the woman in the room. I'm going to say this right here. I'm going to say this right here, Brandy. I have never disrespected you. I like you, Brandy. What the f Why are we doing this Listen in. You want to know what you did. You f***ed up. That was some f***ing up. You caught me, mother Why? Why the f***? Jackie continues to try and assert her high status, despite the apparent tension between her and Brandy. You done? Because, see, I'm a woman. I can let a bitch run her mother mouth like it's got diarrhea. Let's say it. I think you have one more time to call me a bitch. Bitch! That's what I'm you want. You, That's what you want. Do it. Will Jackie maintain her composure in the face of this unexpected turn of events? Or will Brandy use this to gain the upper hand in the conversation? Bitch, choke on this. Don't die. Just choke. See you later. You're Garbage. Bye. You're garbage. I bet you it ain't. I bet you it ain't. You're garbage. See ya. Walk your fat ass on, you dumb bitch. That was not how I wanted dinner to go. Some episodes of Basketball Wives start very peacefully, and you don't know what to expect. Drea knows why I'm not talking to her. She knows what she said to me. So how do we deal with this? Have a good night. It's for a good cause. Now buckle up, because you're about to experience an unexpected turn of events. You did not come. I sure did. Hi. Oh, hi. You look gorgeous. Oh, okay. We was talking major. We were talking major. But we was like, Drea has It's amazing. And I appreciate it. Thank you. I don't feel like I make things about me. I feel like things just are about me. But the point of this is to pull something off for charity. With each passing moment, the stakes continue to rise, leaving us on the edge of our seats and wondering what will happen next. I, I'm just trying to keep in mind that this is a charity event. I plan on having a really good time and, you know, an overall drama-free night. So, Drea is still insisting on talking to me and it's like, girl, leave me the f alone. Like, go away. Drea is trying to talk to Brandy Maxiel at her cancer event. However, things quickly turn for the dramatic when Brandy calls Drea out on her negative comments about something you'll find out soon. The feeling on the couch is really, like, bad. Like, I'm sitting next to Brandy and she just has this ugly face on. Drea's trying to hide what really happened when the camera shut down. You okay. speak to me? Did something happen that you're like, Drea, yes. Yeah. Okay, you keep with me. You want me to say it? As the conversation between the two women heats up, we can sense the tension building. Drea, leave me the alone before I go off on your ass. I'll say it. So you're just gonna have an attitude out of nowhere? It's not an out of nowhere. So are you really here to support me? That's what I or came for. Or is my cancer situation is too boring for you to didn't say that? No. You didn't say that? No. I said you were boring. Brian, feeling attacked, tries to defend herself by explaining herself, but will Brandy listen to any of the excuses? For you to say what you said, mm-mm, or I don't 
fuck with you no more. So was I not supposed to come? My cancer story is boring, so what do you I don't remember, recall that happening. Yeah, because she definitely didn't You weren't me. here, Angel, quit speaking for her. I'm not Both women struggle to maintain their composure as their emotions run high and the argument escalates. It's getting on my f nerves. Shut the f up, Angel. Yeah, yeah, leave her alone. Stop speaking leave her alone. Her. I'm unhappy that Angel decided to insert herself because she's not a tampon. Like, stay wrapped up, bitch. But she needs not to talk to Brandy because you and her are friends, and I'm is boring. And this is a cancer event, so what are you here for? Clearly, this confrontation is about more than just a misunderstanding. It's a clash of personalities and a test of wills. For, to show your face, I tried to do you a favor. I don't f with you. All right, well, then don't f with me. She done f up messing with the wrong f person. I said so it. why the f are you here? Bye. Can you do your exit? Bye. A typical Drea moment. This episode from Basketball Wives is a prime example of what makes the show so engaging and suspenseful. From the drama-filled confrontations to the unexpected twists and turns, we're left guessing and gasping at every turn. Once I see Jennifer, I am instantly mad. Just her face irks me. I'm just like, I'm angry. Tensions in the vacation house are already running high between Jennifer and Evelyn. We can sense the unease in the air as the women struggle to navigate the complicated dynamics of their relationship with each other. So we all know that Jennifer and Evelyn on the same trip is going to be a very tense moment. Are we going to go have drinks? And yes, let's go have drinks. Come on. The tension between the two women is not easing down anytime soon, and we're left wondering what will happen when they have champagne. So what are we doing, Shani? Um, I was thinking about later on we should go to dinner, like hit the town. Yeah? Why? Because I don't want to sit at a table with everybody. Now this is going to be a real problem for the ladies. Will Jennifer confront Evelyn about her exclusionary behavior? Or will she continue to play nice and avoid a confrontation? I'm sure Shawnee, your best friend, told you that I was coming to San Diego, so maybe you should have stayed your ass home. Hi, ladies. Hi, friends. Hi, friends. Hello, my love. With each passing moment, the atmosphere becomes more charged and emotionally fraught, leaving us on the edge of our seats and wondering what will happen next. I know things are really tense right now between Evelyn and Jen. However, I've got my own bone to pick with Malaysia. So I'm going to let things simmer for right now, and I'll hold this for later. The cast on Basketball Wives are never this quiet, but it can only mean one thing when it happens. That seems sad in here. No, we were just starting to talk, but then you y'all walked in. The tension in this room is thick. You can cut it with a knife. How do you think the ladies should handle this situation? Who is in the best position to resolve things? How does everybody be happy? We can have, can we have two separate dinners? Like two different restaurants? Yeah. Which way to go? I think it's important to have one collective dinner. I'm not gonna sit at dinner, I'm not gonna be fake. Things become more explicit when Evelyn suggests that the woman split into two groups for dinner, implying that Jennifer is not welcome at the same table as her. How would Jennifer and the other ladies respond to this? How do you feel, Malaysia? Are you trying to do a group dinner? Are you with me? I mean, I would rather not. <laughs> I'm actually starving right now, but I would rather starve to death than play nice with OG and Jen for three hours. Someone's energy is stank. Jennifer tries to play it cool in response, but we can see her frustration and anger mounting as the situation unfolds. So I just want to be by the pool sipping on something and not this negative juice that these bitches are serving. I'm not going to dinner with her. I'm not going to dinner with her friend. Does this mean the woman will form two groups and have two different dinners? How would that turn out? And who would handle it? She did have a lot to say. I know her. This is my friend, so I know she's never said nothing bad about the girl. Might make her a bad friend if she did say that, but the fact is, she says she ain't say it's like Jennifer brought this chick here to get under my skin because at the end of the day, that's the type of snake that she is.